hello and welcome to my channel in this video we will start with the chapter 14 probability in 11th class maths so in this video we will do introduction of the chapter then types of events and then algebra of events okay so let us start with the introduction now we have studied the chapter probability right in the uh, 10th standard so there we studied about the uh, sample space random experiment events right so let us uh, recall those uh, terms here so what is a random experiment so any random experiment like uh, throwing a die then uh, tossing a coin okay so these all are uh, examples of random experiment okay so random experiment So let us take the random experiment of uh, tossing a coin two times. Okay, so this is the random experiment. What is the sample space? Tossing of a coin will be you can get head in the first toss, head in the second toss, or head in the first toss, tail in the second toss, tail in the first toss, edge in the second toss and tail in the first toss tail in the second toss so this is the sample space right now you know the subset of the sample space is called as an event so let us take suppose for example e1 so getting at least one head okay getting at least one head so what will be e1 so e1 will be equal to ht okay then th or tt so this is the event e1 okay so like this if you take h2 equal to uh, getting at most one head oh getting a, at least one head so this will be uh, here head and head right so getting at most uh, one tail that will be what e2 equal to so ht or th or tt right okay at most one is so yeah ht th or hh so either zero or one number of tails you can get okay so this is the e2 right so like this we know the events are nothing but the subset of the sample space okay so let us take the definition of event so definition event so any subset of a sample space is called an event right okay now let us see what is occurrence of an event so occurrence of an event so for example if we have uh, uh, to throwing a die throwing a die okay so sample space is what 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so if the outcome 1 uh, if the outcome 1 uh, occurs right then uh, we say that or if you take this uh, suppose we take event so let E so event of getting event of getting a number less than 4 ok so if 1 is the outcome 
of the random experiment okay if one is the outcome of the random experiment we say that event e has occurred okay so when we say an event is occurring so the event first of all you have to see event of getting a number less than 4 so if 1 is the outcome when you throw the die we say that the event e has occurred also if the outcome r Two or three, right? We say that event E, uh, event E, has occurred. Okay. So that is the meaning of occurrence of an event. Now let us go to the subtopic types of event. types of event so first is impossible or sure event uh, impossible and sure event so the subsets empty set and sample space uh, sample space s are Uh, impossible event and sure event okay uh, sure event so this is uh, subsets of subsets uh, empty set and s of s okay so subsets um, phi and sample space of the sample space are impossible event and sure event okay of s so for example if we take uh, uh tossing a coin or tossing a die let us say, uh throwing a die let us say throwing a die okay so the sample space is what so 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so let us take this event e equal to uh, event of getting a multiple of 7 right a multiple of 7 so what is e So you can see that in the sample space there is no multiple of seven. So e is the empty set. Okay, e is the impossible even. Okay, understood. So this is the meaning of impossible event. Now let us take one more example. So this is the first one. Second one. Let us take tossing a coin. Or let us take the same uh, event. Uh, throwing a die only we will take so throwing a die so sample space you know it is 1 2 3 4 5 so suppose f is event of getting an odd or even number on the dice okay so what will be f so odd numbers will be 1 then 3 and then 5 right also or even also can occur so 2 3 4 right so this is nothing but the sample space s so is sure event right so have you understood this it is simple okay impossible event and sure event So now let us go to the second uh, type of an event, okay, which is nothing but mm, uh, simple event. Okay, 
so simple event means the event which has only one sample point okay if an event contains only one sample point is called simple event okay so for example if you take uh, tossing a coin two times then sample space is what h h h t t h t t right so e1 equal to h h e2 equal to h t so i am taking only one sample point in the event then e3 equal to t h and e4 equal to t t are all simple event why because only one sample point is occurring right in the event okay then third one compound event okay so if an event contains more than one sample point then the event is called as compound event okay so for example if we take uh, experiment uh, throwing a die so e equal to getting an even number okay so that will be equal to what 2 4 and 6 right so you can see that there are more than one um, sample point so this e is a compound event okay so these are the three types of event now let us go to the algebra of events algebra of events so you have studied in sets the union of two sets intersection of two sets complement of the set so same concept we will use for events because events are nothing but sets right so let us first take the uh, event a or b okay so the event so let a and b be t- any two events of a sample space let a and b be any two events of a sample space s okay then then the event a or b is given by so event a or b so that is denoted as a union b right and by definition it is omega such that omega belongs to a or omega belongs to b right so you know union means if you take an element in the union it should belong to a or it should belong to b okay 
और सेकेंड वन इवेंट ए एंड बी सो डायरेक्टली विल टेक इवेंट ए एंड बी इज डिनोटेड एज ए इंटरसेक्शन बी राइट सो दैट इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा सच दैट ओमेगा बिलोंग्स टू ए एंड ओमेगा बिलोंग्स टू बी ओके सो ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इवेंट मीन्स इफ यू टेक एनी एलिमेंट इन द इंटरसेक्शन दैट एलिमेंट शुड बिलोंग टू ए एज वेल एज इन बी ओके नाउ द थर्ड वन इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए ओके सो सो इवेंट कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए of sample space s okay so that this is important you should have a universal set right so event complement of a of sample space s is equal to omega such that omega belongs to the sample space but omega is not in the set a okay so all the elements outside the set a will be in the complement of a have you understood this okay so that is the complement of a now fourth one is uh, event a but not b okay so event a but not b is equal to omega such that omega belongs to a and or but omega doesn't belong to b okay and and but is same in this uh set theory notations okay set theory language and and but are same so uh this is the event a but not b now let us go to two types of special events okay so the first one is the uh Um, exclusive events or mutually exclusive events mutually exclusive events so mutually exclusive events simply means the events which cannot occur together okay so events which cannot occur together are called exclusive events mutual exclusive events so we can take two events okay two events which cannot occur together are called mutually exclusive events okay so suppose we take uh, sample space as this 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 that is the experiment is throwing a dice okay then if we take e1 as 1 3 5 okay and e2 as 2 4 6 so you can see that uh e1 intersection e2 is empty okay so therefore uh the events e1 and e2 are mutually exclusive okay so even if one element is common between e1 and e2 then the two events won't be mutually exclusive so that means the intersection of both the event should be empty set okay so then only they will be mutually exclusive
so now let us go to the next type of uh, special event so that is nothing but uh, exhaustive events exhaustive events so we will take an example and look at the uh, uh, concept of exhaustive events so let sample space be 1 2 or let us take a random experiment first so let uh, or simply we'll write uh, tossing a coin or uh, uh, sorry throwing a die uh, so sample space will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so that means uh, suppose we take e1 or a as so a if we take it as uh, getting a number less than 4 okay then b getting a number uh, between 2 and 4 and c is nothing but getting a number greater than 4 ok so let us take this as uh, 5 getting a number between 2 and 5 so what will be a a will be equal to getting a number less than 4 will be 1 2 3 right then b getting a number between 2 and 5 will be 3 and 4 and getting a number greater than 4 will be 5 and 6 right so if you take a union b union c that is set 1 2 3 union 3 4 union 5 6 okay so this will be equal to what a union so 1 2 3 is there then 4 also is there 5 and 6 so you can see that you are getting the whole sample space set right so what happens is whenever you take the union of the sets you are getting the sample space that means this sets are exhausting the uh, sets at the sample space so this a b and c are called exhaustive events okay so these sets or events and these events a b and c are called exhaustive events okay so that is the meaning of exhaustive events now we will generalize this concept of mutually exclusive and uh, exhaustive events so in general if e1 e2 dot 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 en okay are events such that such that union i going from 1 to n ei is the sample space set that means the events e1 e2 up to en are mutually exclusive yes so this we have and uh, oh this means uh, they are mutually uh, exhaustive so first you are doing mutually exclusive ok uh, so in general if e1 e2 e and are events such that uh, this happens intersection of e i uh, intersection of e i and e j is empty set okay for i not equal to j 
and uh, intersection uh, union i going from 1 to n ei is equal to the sample space s then the events e1 e2 up to en are mutually exclusive right and exhaustive events okay so that is the uh, concept of mutual exclusive and exhaustive events in general so this much concept you have to know to solve the exercise uh, 14.1 so that's it in the video if you have liked the video please hit the like button if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video